here we're going to uh, try out a slideshow, uh, something that would be much more useful in terms of our normal pedagogical practice. So here we go. The uh, El Agua en la Iconografía de Veracruz durante el Clásico Tardío. Um, I, I want to start actually by looking at a scene from Las Higueras. And I want to stress that this is a water scene. There are fish. Uh, there's a really interesting figure lying prone. There are two uh, structures. We're, we're going to see that that prone figure is actually not unlike a figure that we're going to see in El Tajin lying in something of that same posture. And uh, this figure is, in fact, going to be a sacrificial victim. And I want to associate that sacrificial victim with water. Uh, so here we are. We're going, to, we're going to talk a little bit about these, these prone figures. Uh, they're not exactly identical, but they are interestingly so. Uh, another aspect of that same program at Igaris, of course, is ball court decapitation. And I want to show that, in fact, this decapitation is related in ball courts throughout the region constantly. Uh, but I want to connect it also to that watery place because I think that, uh, again, ball court decapitation is related. But it all comes down to the center of the court, this watery place. Um, and uh, if, if one is... Um, it starts mapping out water and water related motifs in the court. The entire center of the court is marked as a very watery place. Uh, then I want to, could, if I can, if I have the time, then I want to relate that to uh, the Quatepec the Itzompan pair in later Nahua imagery. 